welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics so students today i'm going to show you a method to find lcm and hcf of any given numbers in seconds okay so for this beginning we are going to take two numbers and then we'll take three numbers as well okay so we just hang on till the end of this video so now over here very basic first you need to do is what do the prime factorization to the prime factorization of 12 and 15 so we know that 12 is nothing but what you can see doing prime factorization is very very simple i can do this this way 12 is nothing but what 4 into 3 and that gets me 2 into 2 okay right or you can even do this as what 12 is nothing but what 6 into 2 that gets me what 3 into 2 eventually any method you will get the same prime factors okay so this is how many twos we have 2 square into 3 and 15 would be what just 3 into 5 okay so now please understand what is hcf hcf is nothing but what it is the highest common factor so so the highest common or the number which is common between both of them is nothing but what 3 okay now what will be your lcm lcm is nothing but what writing down your first hcf that is nothing but 3 and then writing down the left over numbers so which is what 2 square into 5 so this comes out to be what 3 into 5 is 15 15 into 4 gets you 60 so that is your lcm for 12 and 15 now students i'm going to show you a cross verification method okay means whenever you find the lcm you will be able to figure out whether you have taken the right lcm or not all you have to do is you have to divide 60 by 12 and here your answer is 5 and you divide 60 by 15 your answer is what 4 meaning when you can completely divide your lcm by the numbers given without so basically completely divide means there is no decimal point involved okay the remainder comes out to be zero so in that case you can say the lcm taken is absolutely correct okay now very quickly let's do for 24 so 24 again we can do this here 24 can be written as what um 6 into 4 so this is 2 into 2 and this is 2 into 3 so how many twos are we looking at 3 so 2 cube into 3 similarly for 42 42 can be written as 6 into 7 so this is 2 into 3 so 2 into 3 into 7 okay so now over here again let's take what is your lcm so your lcm is what 2 into 3 that's it that's the only thing common so 2 into 3 that comes out to be 6 similarly for your sorry for your hcf okay now for your lcm what you will do is you will take 6 matlab you will just use the hcf value first and then you will calculate or you will take into consideration the rest of the numbers so out of this 2 cube only 1 2 is considered for 6 right so the rest 2 square will be considered here and then we have 7 so basically this comes out to be 42 into 4 that gets you 168 so that is your lcm for 124 and 42 I hope you all are getting the hang of these things okay students if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also at the end i might put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay so now coming to let's take one more and now let's do this without the factor tree 30 and let's say 45 so this is nothing but what this will be what 3 into 10 so let's do this orally so 10 can be written as what 2 into 5 now this is what 5 into 9 9 is nothing but what 3 into 3 correct so your lcm and hcf your hcf is nothing but what 5 and 3 which is common so 5 into 3 that gets you 15 and your lcm will be what multiplying the rest of the numbers that is 2 and 3 so 15 into 2 into 3 that gets you 90 okay so that is your lcm okay so now um, again let's take um, um like i said we are going to do more numbers as well but before beginning with that there are times when you come across something 
which is let's say 26 and 91 so now again your 26 can be written as what 2 because it is a multiplication it's an even number so it will be obviously divided by 2 and you're getting 13 now for 91 again this doesn't go in what 2 stable 3 stable so we will check with 13 if it is going so here you will see 13 into 7 gets you 91 so in this case your hcf becomes what 13 and your lcm will become 13 into 2 into 7 okay so i hope you all are getting this idea this is what 182 okay so now like i said we are going to do more numbers not only just two numbers why i we normally teach you two numbers because that is the basic thing which is normally asked but when you appear for entrances at that time the number of uh, numbers for lcm might get increased okay so now let's take for 10 um, 12 and 15 okay so now for 10 we will be writing 2 into 5 12 again i think we had taken over your 12 which was 2 square into 3 into 3 and 15 is nothing but what 3 into 5 now see if you look closely nothing is getting common in all three please understand if you want to find lcm or hcf sorry in case of hcf you need to have number which is common to all three if you had the fourth value then that number had to be common to all the four values okay but since in here in this case we are seeing that nothing is common in such a case you should always take the hcf as one okay i hope this is very very clear and because this is super important there are times when you will not find everything which is common so in that case you have to take lcm uh, sorry hcf which is one now coming to your lcm now this is very interesting because you will be now considering what uh, numbers but you need to make sure that you have to consider only those numbers which are not repeated so here in this case we have written a 2 once so this 2 square may say 1 2 is taken so now only one more 2 will be left then we are left with 3 now this 3 is taken and 5 is also taken so we don't have to write this further so this now comes out to be what 60 your lcm for this one comes out to be 60 i hope this is super super clear to every one okay so now in case you all have doubts or you know like how to find factors then i'll put up a link of that in the description and at the end of the video as well so you will be able to know how to do prime factorization very very easily and correctly okay so now coming to your diy i want you to do the prime factorization of um let's say 24 okay 24 is already taken 28 and 70 so you have to tell me what is the LCM of 28 and 70 in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.